Just electrons really? looking for a place to land. But one of the coolest things I think about Europa is that the, the habitat, the potential habitat requires Jupiter because of the, the heating the, yes. is, is liquid because of the, the it's orbiting around a big stressing. planet. Mm -hmm. But it also seems to require, well, it requires the other moons, Io and Ganymede, yes. to keep it in this orbital resonance, which yeah. keeps feeding the energy in mm -hmm. from the gravitational field. The family but affair, all, yes. But it also might need the, the, the material from the volcanoes of Io on the surface of Europa because they might provide the, what, what we call the oxidant, right? So, that, so, so life is... So you're saying that the an Io, which is badly dressed... The, it's just one big volcano. It's one big volcano. So it spews volcanic substance faster than escape velocity, apparently. Yeah, and then which, it goes is, which lands on, our, in, on Europa. And it, it goes into pathways that intersect other moons, yeah. Europa included. Yeah. And if then, you do this for a billion years... And then the chemistry... Uh, and then it gets irradiated. It helps out the chemistry. Yeah, so we, we, it, one of the theories that, that I've spoken to people who are on the Clipper mission said is that that's part of the battery of life, that chemistry. So life, I can't remember who said it, but he said life, it was, someone said it's, life, it's an electron looking for a place to land. That's what life is. So it's just, in, in one way, you can see life as electrons moving around. But that means you need the chemistry. But to, to is that all we are? Just electrons we, looking for a place to land? Well, that's that's what all a description. Is, I, I find that wonderful because then you've got this habitat, which is a system. And as you said, that comparative planetology you mentioned earlier, it's also true of Earth, isn't it? You you can't understand Earth without understanding the system, the mm -hmm. solar system. You need to understand the Moon and the, uh, how it stabilizes the spin axis, and you need to understand, of course, the Sun and the way it interacts with Earth and so on.